A major development is coming to Prince George's County after the Maryland board approves hundreds of millions for the Blue Line Corridor project. Now this news comes as other venues in Prince George's County are closing. Randy Ayala is getting some answers from county leaders about what's next and also Randy what residents want to see. What do the Marylanders want to see? Yeah, good morning. That's, that's good morning to you, Annie. That's a big part of this, right? So this project is coming to an area that some say has been forgotten about, but I also asked county leaders about surrounding areas like Bowie, Maryland, where some businesses are now leaving. They're meant to be catalysts um, for economic growth in an area of the county that really hasn't seen a lot of that. $400 million in bonds now approved to kickstart development along Metro's Blue Line in Prince George's County. The Blue Line Corridor project includes plans for an amphitheater complex, sports facilities, parks, a civic plaza, and a library, and reconstructing a four-mile stretch of Central Avenue. Get affordable for us. Home, you know, people, where people can live. In this area, we need another grocery store. Just down the road in Bowie, Regal is closing its movie theater near Bowie Town Center, the only theater in Bowie. And some in the county are wondering what will replace it. And could this potentially be an extension of the development planned in the Capitol Heights area? With the state money, we don't have any plans to build a movie theater. But the whole point of the things that we are going to build is for them to be, is for those things to catalyze the private market to develop everything else around it. Bottom line, the county executive and her team want to keep Prince Georgians spending their money where they live and enticing new customers. So the same way that you're now going to um, other places in the region um, for a night out, we also want the region to come to Prince George's for a night out. Ms. Rogers tells me an announcement about specific sites and locations for this project is coming soon. She would not give me an exact date on that. In studio, I'm Randy Ayala, WUSA 9.